Hey friends, welcome to Night Graphics. In this tutorial, we are going to draw these 3D pool balls. As you can see, we have each type of pool balls here, a cue ball, a solid and the striped one. So let's see how to draw it. Before we start, make sure that the smart guides option is on. Okay, now pick the rectangle tool and draw an artboard sized rectangle. Set its stroke size to none. And for the fill color, we will make a gradient mix. For this, come to the gradient panel and click here once to fill the default gradient. Now double click this color slider, open HSB color options and enter 120 for hue and 100 for both saturation and the brightness. Now double click this color slider, open HSB options and enter 120 for hue, 100 for saturation and 60 for the brightness. And from here, set the gradient type to radial. Now we will give it a flat green table look. So we will make some adjustments to this gradient fill. For this, zoom this much out, pick this gradient tool and drag out approximately from this point to here at this point. Now pick this point and drag it inside up to this level like this. Now come to the layers panel. Lock this layer and name it BG, BG for background. Now create a new layer and name it pool balls. Press Ctrl 0 to reset the artboard to screen size. Pick ellipse tool. Click here and enter 150 for both width and the height. Keep it stroke to none and set fill color to white. Now pick type tool and click once inside this ellipse. Keep the font to this Myriad Pro and set the size to 120. Delete this pretext and type 8. Now with the black arrow tool, select these two shapes. Come to the align panel. Set the align option to selection from here. And press horizontal align center and vertical align center. These two shapes are already selected. Press Alt key and drag out to make duplicate copies. Now open Symbols panel. If you don't have this panel docked here, you can get it here from Window menu. Select these shapes and drag and drop them in this panel to make it a symbol. Change its name to 8 and keep the default options as they are. Now this shape has become a symbol and we don't need this right now, so I'm deleting it. We will use its copy from the symbols panel later. Now for these shapes, select the ellipse, go to the transform panel and set its width and height to 135. Now double click this type number to activate the cursor. Select this number and set its font size to 108. Now delete 8 and type 11. Pick black arrow tool now, select these two shapes, come to the align panel, set the align option to selection. Now press horizontal align center and vertical align center. Now pick rectangle tool, come over the center of this circle, we will draw a center outward rectangle. For this press alt key and click once to open the dialog box. Enter 890 for width and 160 for the height. Keep the stroke to none and change its fill color to this red. Ok now, right click on this rectangle and send it to back like this. Now pick black arrow tool, select all these shapes, drag and drop these in symbols panel to make this shape a symbol as we did earlier. Name it 11 and keep the other options as they are and delete this instance. Now we have two symbols here and we will use them while drawing pool balls. Now pick ellipse tool. Click once here and enter 350 for both width and the height. Change its fill to none and set its stroke color to black. Place this circle at about this place. Now pick white arrow tool and drag over this anchor point to select and delete it. With this semicircle selected, go to the effect menu, here 3D and open this revolve option. Set the perspective angle to 45 degrees. Now click more options here. 
move the light source to right on the top of the object like this. Set the blend steps to 100 to avoid any kind of grading. Now for the main effect, click the map art option. Open this list of symbols and pick the symbol 8 that we just had created and add it to the symbols panel. You can see that it has appeared on the surface of the ball. Adjust its place like this. Click this option of shade artwork to make it appear more like a part of this 3D shape. Press OK and a solid number 8 ball is ready. Now we will draw stripes ball. Select this shape and press ALT key and drag out a duplicate of it. With this selected, come to the transform panel. Press this constraint button and enter 315 for the height. Set the stroke color to white and now to edit its 3D options, open appearance panel. If you don't have this panel docked here, you can find it here in window menu. Now, in this appearance panel, click this 3D revolve effect to open the dialog box of this already applied effect. All these options will remain same except for the position of this light source. Place the light source down like this. Now click map art button. Press clear to remove this symbol. Open this list of symbols and select the symbol 11. Adjust its position like this and press OK. Finally, we will draw the cue ball. Select this shape, press ALT key and drag out a duplicate copy of this and place it right here. With this selected, go to the transform panel. Make sure the constraint button is on and set its height to 300. This shape is selected and now to change its 3D options, come again to the appearance panel. Click 3D revolve to open its dialog box. Check the preview button. All the values will remain same. We will just change the position of the light source. So place it like this. Now enter into map art option and clear the art applied to it. It's a cue ball, so we don't want any artwork on that. Press OK and the ball is drawn here. Now for the final move, we will draw the shadows beneath these balls. Pick ellipse tool, click once here and enter 350 for width and 85 for the height. Set its stroke to none and fill color to black. Right click on this shape and send it to back. Now go to the effect menu, blur and pick Gaussian blur. Set its value at 20. Now pick black arrow tool and adjust the shadow to suitable place according to the light source on this ball. This looks fine. Now this shape is selected, press ALT key and drag out a duplicate of it. With this selected, go to the transform panel, make sure this constraint button is on and enter 315 as width. Now adjust this shadow according to the light source on this ball and this looks fine. Finally, for the shadow of this cue ball, press ALT key and drag a duplicate copy of it. With this selected, go to the transform panel, make sure this constraint button is on and enter 300 as width. Now adjust this shadow according to the light source on this ball. This is it. So here we are friends, the pool balls are ready now. I hope you like this tutorial. Hit like and share if it's so. Thanks for watching Nag Graphics.